Hey, your crazy old coot here. We're going to be doing AMD Ryzen 5 2400G Vega 11 Heaven Benchmarks. Okay, so here we go. 1080p, 27.1 frames per second, score of 682, minimum frames 8.3, max 51.8. That was just thrown in there for a comparison's sake. You can uh, take that with a grain of salt, uh, or you can use it to compare other systems. Okay, so we're at 1680 by 1050 with 2x AA. We've got 32.3 frames per second, a score of 813, a minimum of 20.9, and a max of 61.0. Coming up next, we should have 1680 by 1050 with no tessellation. We have 39.4 frames per second, a score of 993, minimum 22.0, a max of 79.2. Okay, coming up next, 1440 by 900 with 2XAA and we have a frames per second of 43.5 score of 1095 a minimum of 12.4 a max of 80.6 coming up next is 1440 by 900 and that's with no tessellation we have a score of 53 uh, frames per second of 53.4, a score of 13.45, minimum 20.4, a max of 106.4. Coming up next, 720p, 2XAA. And we have a frames per second of 57.9, a score of 14.59. Minimum, 23.6. Max, 108.5. Coming up for final is 720p with no tessellation. And we're going to have an average frames per second of 72.1. 1816 is the score. Minimum 24.5 and a max of 45.9. Woo! Okay, what does this tell us? It tells us, okay, these Vega 11 APUs kick butt. I mean, considering they're free, basically. These are free. Okay, you buy the CPU and you get the APU, the graphic side, free. Um, very, very, very overclockable. These were done at, uh, the CPU was clocked at 3.8 gigahertz on all cores. And the, um, the, the Vega 11 was at the stock speed of 1240. Okay. So we are having a good time here. We got more benches to do. And I got a little bit of a mystery. I'll go over that in my next video. And this is your crazy old coot wishing you a good evening.